Hey guys, what's going on? This is a quick and easy tutorial video for IQ users, at least IQ Neo 10, IQ 13 users, showing how to force enable 144 hertz and frame interpolation for all native Android games at all times. But before that, please consider subscribing and turning on all notifications. All right, let's start the video. So I will test Wuthering Waves for this demonstration and as of 27 June 2025, you can see that this game is not supported by IQ's frame interpolation by default, but we can force it. So we just need to run an adb shell command, which we can run using a shell on the phone itself. Now to run adb commands using a shell, you need to install Shizuku and set it up. So please watch my FPS meter tutorial video to set up Shizuku and enable a shell in Shizuku. Watch this part of the video on how to install Shizuku and watch this part for a shell. It is actually really simple. Okay. Once you have set up Shizuku and a shell, just run this command to enable 144 Hertz and frame interpolation. It will stay enabled for as long as you don't restart the phone, or you can also run this command to manually disable it. All right. Now let's check out its effect in Wuthering Waves. So first we will try to interpolate 30 FPS to 144 FPS, I guess, or 120 FPS. I am not sure guys, as I can't capture the maximum frame interpolation data, but you can clearly see the effects. I have slowed down the video by four times and you can clearly see the footage on the right appears much smoother. Albeit there are a ton of weird artifacts, which is obviously because the base frame rate is just 30 FPS. Higher the base frame rate, better will be the quality of interpolated frames. Now, one thing to note is that you definitely use more power for this, actually quite a bit more power going from 2.5 watts at 30 FPS to around 4.2 watts with this frame interpolation active. Now let's test 40 FPS. I feel all these high end games should come with a 40 FPS cap as 40 FPS is a perfect balance between responsiveness and power consumption. It results in 25 milliseconds of frame time, which is a perfect middle ground between 33.3 milliseconds for 30 FPS and 16.67 milliseconds for 60 FPS. And you can see that frame interpolation at 40 FPS means lesser artifacts, but still there are some artifacts. Finally testing 60 FPS and here the artifacts are not that noticeable. It's actually a pretty good experience. 60 FPS is definitely the most suitable for frame interpolation. All right, that's about it guys. Pretty short and easy tutorial. Now I don't personally use frame interpolation because I am mostly a native frame rate guy, but try it out yourself and let me know about your experience in the comments. Okay, make sure to hit like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.